everybody, Troy Anderson from the Total Body Burn Boot Camp. And what we're going to do um, now, we're sitting here with Megan, she's one of our newer members, um, and she, she um, agreed to kind of sit down and do a little project with us called, uh, we're going to call it Boot Camp TV, and uh, we're going to work on a real cool little project with Megan. Um, basically the goal is, I, I sat down and wrote my personal goals for myself to, um, to help two people lose 30 pounds, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But um, with Megan, Megan through uh, through some other connections throughout boot camp, um, kind of found her way to us and, and is going to agree to to let us document her process through that kind of in our boot camp TV. So we're going to be bringing you real regular updates uh, on on where she's at and where she's coming up through. So thanks for joining us, Megan. Um, the project is to lose 30 pounds by the end of the year. Um, we've had a couple of hiccups on the on the way. All, all the big publicity out there now is about the swine flu, and Megan's actually a, a swine flu survivor. Uh, <laughs> Um, she came, uh, her last day she had to leave, be that she, before she found out she had to leave early, and she came back on Wednesday of this week, so we had a little bit of a glitch in there. Um, this would be about two weeks now, I think. Um, she, she's go gone all in, all in on this, we're going nutrition, we're going, um, you know, exercise the full thing, so just let, let us, let everybody know kind of where you're coming from as far as how the first week or so went and, 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 and maybe some soreness or some funny stories that you might have had in regards to your first bit of exercise. Um, the first eight week was definitely hard. It helps a lot to have someone, um, Troy's really good with communication, so it helps a lot to have somebody really keeping on top of you, especially for me. Um, my biggest thing is getting up at 5.30 when it's 40 degrees outside. But as far as the first week is concerned, it was a good sore. Uh, I was previously athletic in high school, and I've kind of gotten out of shape, so it was really nice to get back into shape, and I could feel that hurt again. That, um, and I just feel so much better. And then, I was at, like Troy said, I was out for a week, and I just, like, not only was I sick, but I didn't feel good because I wasn't eating right, and I wasn't working out, and it just makes a huge difference in how I feel. And so you, we, like I said, we went kind of all out on this. We, 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 did, we did some nutrition stuff. She got uh, our classic elimination diet that we use, a very sustainable eating program. Um, we actually did a, 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 we actually did a food a grocery store tour, went through it and looked through some stuff. And, and a lot of people, if they just look at the, the elimination diet from the outside in, and, and you, you um, were, were, were not necessarily even really close to that initially, um, kind of let everybody know how that process was, if it was real daunting for you or, or maybe, what, maybe what, some, what some of the really cool parts that you thought were going to be hard were, were not hard and maybe one of the harder things that, that was for you. Um, definitely the hardest thing for me was no caffeine. Um, I am a hairstylist and I work some late nights and you know, just trying to get through the grind I usually have a soda <laughs> and that's usually a typical thing. Um, and so getting back off of the soda was probably the hardest part of the diet. The rest of the diet is so simple. I mean, it's really common sense. It's not hard. It's preparing your meals, which I love to cook already, so that was awesome. Um, and we actually went through a period where we were so sick of chicken. Um, but just kind of, you know, through what Troy said at the grocery store and stuff like that, we found other things to eat and it's just really it's going through it's like a treasure hunt at the grocery store trying to pick and find and choose what you can eat what you can't and there really isn't a whole lot you can't eat um, I mean, that's that, there's a couple of really cool things there. Uh, the treasure hunt um, sta statement is is really awesome, and a lot of people, especially when I when we use the term like elimination um, and, and diet together, people get really fidgety and nervous. And and like Megan said, it, it, there's not a whole lot that you can't eat. You you, you just basically. Um, the concept of the diet, and especially the elimination diet, is actually more freedom and, and the moving into the path of freedom as far as being able to make really good choices and, and, and not having to be, um, you know, reading labels and things like that. Um, and that's kind of where the elimination diet has taken us. So this diet and exercise has taken you closer to the goal a little bit. Um, tell them what you texted me the other day. Uh, you're really happy about it, actually. <laughs> I, um, I, when I started at my job about, I started in May. And I bought all these clothes, and then all of a sudden, I had no clothes to wear. And I was like, all right, it is time to figure something out. Tried to go to the gym, that wasn't working. Anyways, long story short, since I've been with Troy, I'm actually starting to fit into pants that I couldn't wear um, up until 
recently and it's been about eight months since I've been able to fit into them so I'm really starting to see results and I mean this is even missing a week and eating not exactly on the diet mm -hmm. so <clears throat> I'm definitely seeing results. <clears throat> So this is very cool. We're going to bring you some segments. We're going to bring you the ups and downs, all the high loads, no loads, anything that comes across the, the plane in, in, our, in our kind of our viewfinder and, and let you guys have a really intimate snapshot on Megan's process through this. Like I said, our goal um, is to, to get 30 pounds by the end of the year, but, uh, but irregardless, we're going to let you document along with us and see where we go with it and how fast we get there and all the process throughout. So. Have a great day. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you picked out some real good nuggets from, from Megan's story. And we'll be back again with some more Boot Camp TV very soon.